If it wasn't changing people's lives, my story didn't work to help them, to compel them, or to motivate them, then I wouldn't be out there doing it. When I started out the military, I was an engineer. My second enlistment, I went into the Special Forces, and I became a Green Beret. Well, it was time to upgrade, the time to move up in the rank structure of the military, being dubbed a Golden Knight. That was probably one of my proudest moments. I held them with high regards. Their accomplishments, their performances, American public every day and what they did and what they stood for. It was incredible. The day of the jump, it was a beautiful day, Yuma, Arizona, little breeze, got up in the aircraft and it was just, it was awesome. Uh, myself and Jose were clicking. The last word to Jose before we exit the aircraft was have a good jump. As we exit the aircraft, we flew away from each other. We gained incredible speeds. And now the American public's on the ground watching this etched out diamond. So the top half of the diamond went great. We turned around 180 degrees and we fly back towards each other. We got closer and closer and faster and faster. And all of a sudden. Oh, they hit. They hit, my God, they hit. Oh. Oh, oh my God, oh, no, oh, he got it open. I woke up two days later in the hospital and I found out the worst. One of the guys gave me a pad and a pen and I started to write J-O and they looked and they said, Jose, and I shook my head. Jose, what happened to Jose? Because I can remember Jose's face. They said, Jose died. I said, what? You don't remember, Dana? You don't remember what happened? All these questions and I couldn't answer. He said, we got some other bad news for you. You lost both of your legs. I'll tell you, it was shocking, frightening. What's next? I went to the funeral seven days later. I, I wanted to pay tribute to a friend that died in line of duty. The doctors didn't want me to go. Jose Aguillon, my teammate, was one of the most motivating guys. He had some very good traits and qualities. He was a leader. I know he'd be proud of what I do and what I've done. Probably one of the biggest changes, the biggest shocks, being a new amputee was reality setting in. When I was in the hospital, my wife left me. Before she left, she told me she said she stopped loving me the day of my accident. You can imagine all this stuff coming tumbling, tumbling down all at once. It was hard. I had everything taken from me. Special forces, my family, my wife, it was all gone. What else did I have left? The doctor said, well, you're gonna have a hard time for the rest of your life. You're not gonna walk normal. You're not gonna be able to water ski, snow ski, scuba dive, fly airplanes, helicopters, nothing. This is the way it's gonna be, reality. Negativity, I said. That's what I thought. You can do anything you wanna do. I showed them, step by step. I learned what was out there. I do more things now than I did before I lost my legs. I was dealt a bad hand. It was all taken away from me. I was knocked off the top of the mountain. I got an opportunity to climb back up to that top. Help people, gratifying. When I was in the military, I support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. I still do today. It's about helping. It's about giving back. It's about motivating.